I'm Karen Bashir, and joining me with her expert opinion is former world number one, Nikki Hunt. Nikki, athletes are already out for this one. Is this a case of six athletes trying to stop two Koreans from winning? Quite possibly. Such quality here, multiple Olympic medalists as well. It's going to be a great session. On target number one, representing Korea, Choi Misun. On target number two, representing Great Britain, Bryony Pittman. The lunches for this match is Hussein Nasiri. Well, both these athletes qualified for this final stage with stage wins through the season. Choi Mi Sun took victory in Korea in Guangzhou. And Bryony Pittman took the win in Antalya right at the beginning of the season. Choi Mi Sun is a team Olympic champion from Rio and won this competition back in 2015. Will be the Korean to get the match underway. So set system here in recurve archery, shooting over 70 meters, three arrows per set. If you win the set, you get two set points. If the scores are level after the three arrows, it's one point each. Target score of six. Both these archers opening up with arrows slightly high right. They've obviously just come off a practice field somewhere and into this venue, so both their sight marks seem to be very similar. Ready. So nine required for Bryony Pittman to draw level. She gets that nine, so 26 apiece, and that's one set point all. Choi Misun getting uh, the stage win in Guangzhou. Bryony Pittman, she got a stage win in Antalya, but also got a silver medal at the uh, World Games. Just measuring the arrows here. A Choi Mi Sun with a smile on her face won this title back in 2015 when the finals were last in Mexico. And here we are beating Topeka Kumari of India back then. She also took a silver at her second appearance in the World Cup finals in Odense in 2016. So here at her third. World Cup Finals. Medals at the previous two. But there's been a break. Six years since her last appearance. Bryony Pittman looking pretty happy with her performance through the first set. She looked okay. Yep, so far so good. The two Koreans tipped for the final here. Got through the nervy first set. Point shared. So yes. Choi Musun hits the middle of the target with the first arrow of the second set. Bit of pressure on Pittman now. Yes. Oh, what a response. Just what she needed, wasn't it? Brighton's looking fairly calm, fairly relaxed, a little bit of a longer hold on that shot, looking for consistency to how long those archers are at full draw. The timing of that is usually pretty consistent between shots. It can be different for each archer. Yes! Ooh. Got this in uh, her hands here. These two have never met. Well, 
nine going for a measure. A ten for a guaranteed two set points. So 29. So now Choi Mi Sun is looking for that measure to go up on a third arrow from a 9 to a 10. Very difficult for us to see. Yeah, it's so difficult because the sunshine is just on those targets, so we're getting a bit of a glare. So we'll have to wait for the judge to come in and have a look at this one. We'll take a look back over the arrows. Choi Mi Sun nailing the middle of the target with her first arrow. Just dropping low, and that does look like it might well be on the line. Pittman had a chance with her third arrow to put it out of reach with a 10, but got a 9 for a 29. Choi Mi Sun currently on 28, looking for the markup. And she does indeed get that measure going in her favour. So a 29 for her as well. So a two set points apiece here. And we go into the third. These two have never met, but there's nothing between them after two sets. Yes! Opportunity here for Pittman. That was really the chance she needed, I think, in this set. She had to have got that in the gold. That puts this one out of reach, a 28, not achievable for Pittman. So the set points go to Choi Mi Sun. Just see a lot of shaking just before she gets to full draw. Is that yes. nervous tension? She finishes with a 10, which is very good, of course, and a 27. But do you think that's nervous tension? Yeah, I do. I do think it is. And uh, why not? You know, this is the, one of the biggest events you can possibly be at. You're going to be nervous. It's a lot at stake, but... It's okay to be nervous. It's how you handle it, how you deal with it. And I think Bronnie is dealing with, with it really well. Um, the difference, I think, with her shots is when those nerves do come in, she's holding for slightly longer. That's what I'm seeing. So, and Choi is quick. You know, she's not a full draw for very long. She's coming in. The shots flow. Rikov is a very dynamic uh, side of the sport. It's all about movement. You can't see it <laughs> right at the end of their shots, but they're always moving just microscopically through those clickers, those draw length indicators at the front of the bow that you'll see the arrow underneath. Just waiting for their arrows to come back, I think. There we go. Uh, this confident looking Choi Mi Sun. Ronnie Pittman shoots first at the start of the fourth set. And this is really now about putting some pressure on with each of her arrows. Well, an opportunity for Pittman again. Ocho. And again, she isn't really taking the opportunity, has she? She needed, again, a gold. 
You can see that uh, Choi's target is in the shadows. That must make it difficult. Yeah, as you look down the range, target two there has got bright sunshine on it. Target one is just starting to come into shade, and that can play with the vision the archers are seeing down range and what we call their string picture. They'll see an image of that string as they aim as well. A lot of movement there from Pittman finishes with a 26. So a 9 to draw level, a 10, and Choi Mi-Sung goes through. It's a 9. So 26 apiece. So we go to 5-3 now, and we go into a fifth and final set. Pittman's still got a chance here. Yeah, she really hasn't. She keeps being given an opportunity, and sadly she's not been taking them when when Troy's shooting those eights you've got to attack it you've got to get back in this match and she's hanging on she's doing really well I mean this is a really really tough match I mean Bryony is the world number two she's mm. a fantastic archer but on paper I think Troy Meeson is probably the favorite for this match and it would be pretty big upset if it was turned over we we'll take a look back over there and you say, as you say uh, Bryony Pippen the 25 year old Brit is world number two got a silver medal at the world games and uh, just recently won silver at the uh, World Field Archery Championships. Uh, and the world ranking is based on a, a combination of indoor, outdoor and field results, isn't it? And the Koreans tend not to compete in the field. Yeah, that's right. It's just recently changed. So I think it's three target events, two indoor events and then a field event as well can make up your world ranking now. So Choi mi Sun is ranked 10th in the world to Bryony Pittman, but uh, she is definitely the favorite for the match but Pittman shoots first in the fifth set and if she can get the points here we'll have a shoot off yes. good start yes. just clip in the line Slightly longer hold again, a little bit more shaking. Ocho. Just pushed it high. She's got to keep the movement of the shot. It's got to keep the flow. Choi's usually so consistent with her timing. Yes. Yeah, and has dialed in on the middle. This is a big arrow for Bryony Pittman. She's taking her time before she begins her process. She needs this one to hit the middle of the target. And it's gone out to the eight for a 26, so a seven. Well, in fact, a six is enough. She just needs to match the score to get to six set points. Yes, but yes, it's a yes. perfect finish for a 30 for Choi Mi Sun, and she takes the first quarter final, seven points to three. Choi through to the semi finals here in Tlaxcala.